How's it going, everybody? My name is Jordan Brown, brother of the Alpha Gamma Rho fraternity and the Vice President of Communications at Penn State. Now, I was trying to figure out what I was going to talk about at this whole speech. Um, I first thought about well, why did I join my fraternity in the first place? Well, obviously, first things first, party. We all have seen shows like Glory Days, Greek, uh, infamous movies like Animal House, and after seeing all that as a high school student, Greek life seemed nothing short of epic. So, but that wasn't it. Um, obviously, in everything that we see in the shows and movies, one thing's held constant, the beautiful women in stories. So I'm like, wait, so I can join an organization, have awesome parties, and meet beautiful women? Yeah, that's, that's something I can get behind. So, when I joined the fraternity, I realized this whole Greek life thing gave me much more than I thought. I met a group of guys that gave me so much more than I thought they ever would. Best friends that I've ever met in my life and were there through anything. But I know what you're all thinking. Dear God, not another, this is why I joined, this is why I stayed time speech, you know? You guys heard that a million times, and don't worry, I won't make you listen to it again. The reason I'm here is to talk about something much greater than that. I'm here to talk to you today about doing big things. Now, what you're thinking, what the heck is this guy talking about doing big things? He's talking about shotgunning two beers at once? No, not exactly. Uh, I'm talking about uh, something that from my own experience, and I'll explain it to you so you guys can get a little bit of a better understanding of where I'm coming from. So, when I was a, a freshman, I was a super ambitious little guy, you know, me, five foot six Puerto Rican, walking into a fraternity house. And um, I spoke to some of our other brothers. I really wanted to go and get a position. And they told me, you know what, go for a flint and chair. You know, after noticing that nobody else wanted to go for it, I really didn't care. I just wanted to get a position, so I took it. Uh, but when I took it, I really didn't know who the philanthropy was going to be for. So, I remember my cousin telling me a story about a young man named Ben Alessi from Southern Pennsylvania. When he graduated high school, he wanted to celebrate as many of us did, so he went to a club with his friends in Philadelphia, and when he left the club, he got in a car accident. And the car hit him, it was a hit and run, and he was in a coma for a month. Eventually he woke up, but when he did, he was a paraplegic, so he was paralyzed from the waist down. And then I knew what I had to do. I founded the Be Easy Paraplegic Fund to help him with his medical debt. So when it all started, I started to battle the bands in our backyard. The plan was to have uh, an entry fee, part of it be a prize, part of it be uh, going to the cause. I thought it was a great idea. So I thought, you know what? We need publicity for this thing. So I contacted a bunch of people. Um, like, you know who's better to contact than celebrities? So um, I contacted all these people and got a huge response. Got a donated guitar from Sharon Osbourne on behalf of Ozzy Osbourne. Got a signed Southern Grounds cookbook, uh, all signed from the Zach Brown Band. Before I knew it, the event gained so much publicity that I contacted our arena in our local area. They put up $150,000 for the event, and we got Whiskey Leaf and Matt Miller to go perform for this event. And a portion of the proceeds were going to my fund. Now, at the end of it all, we raised over $5,000 for the fund. And with this money, the young man was not only able to pay for some of the medicine that he needed to get, but he was able to buy a new electric wheelchair, which, quote, changed his life. Now, the expression on his face was worth the entire stress that I went through. Now, holding an event like this helped me in so many ways. Not only one, to allow me to get a chance to go and help a young man such as Ben, but I got a chance to go and be the operations overall and a Greek week overall committee. I got a plan to be the vice president of recruitment, vice president of planning for my fraternity, and now vice president of communications for Penn State University. Now the point here that I want to make to all of you is that I'm not special. That's right, I'm not special. I said it. I'm not special. The only thing I did was I took advantage of being Greek. Now that's why I'm here today to encourage you to do the same. As a Greek community, we have a potential that I believe that so many members don't understand. We're the largest of stu uh, student organizations on many of our campuses, and people look up to us, whether the GDIs would admit it or not. And do you know what? They support us in what we do if we support what they do. So I'm here to tell you to step out of your comfort zone. And you know that big idea that your organization is thinking about, that you're like, you know, we don't have enough resources, we don't have enough manpower for it, go for it. You guys are capable of doing way beyond what you think you are. Yeah, drinking is awesome, and the women are no doubt really attractive. But the potential that you have simply because you're in a fraternity and sorority is astounding. And not only can these big ideas help you and your members in leadership roles, but post-graduation does crazy things. And when your members do well, you do well. So it's going to help you with, uh, with recruitment, with organization for your, for your organization itself, and all because you weren't afraid to do big things. So after you're done with your session today, get together with your organization, encourage your members to do big things, and I want you all to reach love of awesomeness that I know you're all capable of doing. Thanks, guys.